Hey everybody, Dom here. In this video, we're going to talk about the effects of ChatGPT and whether it's going to replace the need for uh, iOS development jobs. So this is a question that I got from a subscriber of mine or a commenter of mine. So shout out to you. So uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my experience on this particular fact. And the short answer is no. I don't think that uh, ChatGPT at this time inside of development necessarily replaces it and more supplements it, right? Why is there, why do I say that? Now, I've been using ChatGPT pretty heavily for my current uh, iOS project that I have right now, and it's not an entire solution, right? So, to give you a, a little bit of context, I have a production level code base that was implemented by somebody else, right? There's very limited documentation, so I'm using ChatGPT to help me understand it. But there's a bunch of protocols that ChatGPT doesn't actually understand and will spit out some generic stuff, right? So that comes to show you that in this current period of time, it cannot replace it because it needs somebody with a bunch of knowledge to really understand these things and then kind of it will help you with the implementation part of it, right? So what do I mean by implementation part of it? So when I say implementation part of it, then it's like, let me give you an example here. Let's just say that, you know, you trying to build a product and you want to, you want it to do, uh, let's see, let's say you have a table view and then you want it to call a REST API and then display those things on the table view, right? Those are the things that ChatGPT can really help you and it really understands because this is something that's widely used across the industry. However, what it doesn't do a good job is if you have millions of lines of code, if you have, uh, you know, 20 plus files that are filled with protocols referencing this, represent, representing that, referencing this, referencing that, you know, and they all come together in a view controller, ChatGPT doesn't do a, a good job. So it needs a developer there to understand and to go through and, you know, break down these problems so that they're digestible. That's the reason why most software engineers are paid so much, right? If we were paid to just write lines of code, it could easily be on me, right? But we don't because we're able to turn a solution or a potential solution that we want to build and turn it into an actual product. That's the value of software engineers, right? So that's something that you need to uh, consider when you're talking about ChatGPT. Now, at the time of recording. Is this going to change? Who knows? It could. It could not. But at this time being, you know, it's not sophisticated enough to understand these large production code bases that you would typically see if you're working at some sort of a big tech company or stuff like that. It could definitely assist you, but it's not to the point where it can help you. So if you're in a position where you're kind of doubtful and you're kind of scared that it's going to take away your jobs, don't worry. You need to provide your value. Your value is going to be your ability to turn an idea into an implementation, right? That's what you're getting paid the good money. And once you understand that, you won't be scared when some new thing comes out. Now, this is the new hot thing right now. But what I would do in your position is just be open to it, but give it time, right? Because time is the big thing that's going to determine whether this is kind of a fad or if it's going to be uh if it's going to be something that we're going to see in the near future because there has been things that have been hyped up in the past right there's been blockchain there's been nfts you know that kind of stuff you know we have chat gpt and artificial intelligence right now right what i like to do and this is something that i learned from my business days is i wait about six to twelve months Right, and I see if it's still there, if the hype is still there, and if it's still, uh, if it's still over there and still prevalent, if there's advances that are being made in that space, 
and then I'll choose to get in, right? Now, will I miss out on opportunities to be an early adopter? Yes, I have. Yes, I will. But at the end of the day, what I've learned through my experience is I just have poor judgment. So I prefer to play it safe and certain rather than taking more risky avenues, such as jumping on it when it first creates hype, right? So that's just my personal opinion on ChatGPT and will that affect iOS developers. Gave you a couple examples there, but this is pretty universal. You can apply it to like web development, backend development, and stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like and comment. Tell me what you thought about in the comment section below and hit the subscribe button as it really helps support the channel and lets me know that you enjoy content like this and encourages me to keep making content like this. So without further ado, I'll see you in the next video.